हेलो एवरीवन आई एम लक्ष्मी प्रसन्ना वेलकम बैक टू द ऑफिशियल चैनल मैथ मेवेंस टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेक ज्योमेट्री पार्ट थ्री वेल लेट अस क्विकली रिएट्रेट और गिव अ रिकैप ऑफ व्हाट वी हैव लर्न्ड इन आर प्रीवियस एपिसोड वी हैव लर्न्ड समथिंग अबाउट एंगल्स दैट इज टू लाइंस जॉइनिंग टू गिव एन एंगल इट कैन बी अ स्ट्रेट एंगल इट कैन बी एन ऑक्यूट एंगल इट कैन बी एन ऑप्ट्यूज एंगल रिफ्लेक्स एंगल अ कंप्लीट एंगल और अ राइट एंगल But yes, to continue forward today, I would like to discuss about a small fact which you generally would not have observed. Everyone has geometry boxes, right? So you have something called this kind of instrument, which is called as a protractor. And you might have always observed that you have inner readings and the outer readings. Do you know what is the significance of inner readings and outer readings? Let us check. At any point of time, if you take one measure, for example, I take fifty here in the inner side, the corresponding measure is one thirty. That means at every measure, the corresponding measure, the sum of these two will always give me one eighty. Thirty plus fifty, one eighty. Here, if I see one sixty plus twenty, one eighty. That means the protractor can measure a complete angle. so this is a fact which you need to observe and yes let me clear one more doubt while constructing angles or trying to identify or interpret angles well we always have to take one thing into consideration whenever i have to find the angle i should ensure the blue line if you could see this line of the protractor is exactly placed on the line segment in such a way the o is exactly here and if i have one more line segment like this so this is my point where this is the way how i measure so this intersection point will exactly position the protractor to understand what kind of angle has been formed and yes there is one more clarification which is very much important very much to be mindful on this is we always have to start from zero zero means again you have a doubt ma'am we have left side is zero or right side well we always take from the interior measurement that is your zero starts from the right that is right towards moving the left your angle start increasing that is how it is 0 10 20 30 40 so on till 90 till 180 this is how you need to measure an angle well let us come back to our geometry part 3 we have understood something called lines right we have also understood that some angles are formed today i would like to specify more clearly and explain more clearly types of lines what are types of lines types of lines are nothing but lines formed with two sets or three sets or four sets so let us understand we have a line this is a line not a line segment and this is one more line this is a line i can't name it as ab because it can extend infinitely both sides in the opposite direction so if i have two lines can you quickly recollect where do you find such kind of lines well the answer is the bristles of your comb your railway track the railings in your corridor all these are nothing but the lines which are exactly one beneath the other or adjacent to the other that means at any point the distance between these two remains the same or indirectly it is 180 degrees such kind of lines are called parallel lines what are they called they are called as parallel lines yes you will see some kind of lines where they meet or they cross each other similarly the same railway track you can have lines like this and you will have a line a track when it has to be changed so you can have a line like this such kind of lines what are such kind of lines these are also parallel lines but yes there is every time an intersection point so this intersection point will decide the angle at which this particular line is cutting these two lines so well let me make it very very clear for you when you have a line and you have one more line that cuts 
that cuts it is an intersection line but this intersecting line can be categorized based on the way or the method how it has cut the other line let us make it very clear for you for example if i have a line called or if i have a line segment or a line in case it's better this line l i have taken it and there is one more line called m that cuts the line cuts the line l but it is not always sure that it cuts exactly into two equal halves what is the chance or what is the sequence wherein it cuts like this there are two ways both are called as the intersection points or point of intersection but there is lot of difference in the second case m cuts the line l in such a way that l gets bisected into two equal halves what do you mean by the word called bisect bi means two sect means parts that means a line cuts the other line into two equal parts then it is called as the bisector so here in this case m is called as the bisector to the line l so when do we call what is the other name of bisector it is nothing but perpendicular or the 90 degrees that means a line which cuts the other line exactly at 90 degrees is nothing but this line divides the line into two equal halves that is indirectly it forms a right angle but whereas in this case it cuts the line but we are not sure whether it gives a an equal part or a more or a lesser part so such kind of lines are also called as intersecting lines this is also called as an intersecting but this is a perpendicular line whereas this is not perpendicular it is just an intersecting lines that means perpendicular lines are always intersecting lines but intersecting lines need not necessary to be perpendicular this is the fact which we need to observe and keep it in mind while solving questions related to lines and angles now a very important and a toughest thing which you need to understand when it comes to lines and angles with respect to three lines so here i will just give you a quick recap of what we are going to learn in the next episode but yes i would quickly give you what we will learn i have a line m l and i have a line m i will have one more line called n so this is what i am going to teach you in the next episode because the reason why is it has two intersection points this is one angle this is one angle this is one angle this is one angle similarly here there is sets of four that means total we have eight angles and there are different combinations and pairs of angles that can be described which can be helpful for us in our next level of classes so don't forget to stay tuned to our math events ensure that you like the video subscribe our channel to get more updates and not too late let me repeat for board going children we are here ready to come up with solutions or solve papers of math so ensure that you subscribe this channel see you in the next episode bye